Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adriana and this is A Life with Avi. I am an entrepreneur mother and I am documenting my business journeys and any tips, advice that I can give you guys. I just come on here and share with you. If you guys would like, you can follow me on my other social media accounts, which I am linking here. And if this video turns out to be helpful, if you can please leave me a comment and make sure you like the video, it really helps me out. Also, if you are looking for more videos on entrepreneurship, motherhood, everything like that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I am just getting started. So there's a lot more that I want to document and come on here and share. In today's video, I want to share with you how to become a remote online notary for the state of Texas. First things first, when you want to do remote online notary work, you do have to be Texas Notary Public first. So go ahead and watch my last video i'll go ahead and link it up here for you guys so that you can look at the steps that i took to become just a general notary public there's a few steps that you have to take even before you go on to the um, secretary of state website for texas and submit your remote online notary application well first of all let me kind of explain what a remote online notary is so basically you get to work from your home you don't have to go out and waste gas or do anything like this. Bless you! <laughs> so um, you don't have to go out and meet the signers. Everything is done on your computer or your laptop. So um, there's rules that every state um, has you follow. So for here in Texas, you need to have a verifiable x.509 compliant digital certificate which is basically just a digital certificate okay because everything has to get tracked you know they're trying to make sure that the state is trying to make sure that whoever is getting documents notarized that you know they are who they say that they are and you are still verifying ids but you're verifying it remotely they upload their ids and and you get to See them. The other rule is like you have to be able to see the signer and hear the signer. So if you're working on a computer or laptop, just making sure that you have a webcam or it already comes with a webcam and you're able to hear them. I also have a headset that I use, it comes in handy and I'm going to have everything linked below for you guys. So um, like every single piece of equipment that I use. So another thing that you need to have is an electronic seal. So you know as a regular notary public you have like your actual stamp your seal that you use to stamp onto the documents that a signer wants to have notarized in this case since you're not actually meeting with the signer and things are done electronically and remotely you're gonna have to get something called an electronic seal which is exactly what it is it's a seal that is electronically like it's a digital one and you get to digitally attach it or stamp document that's basically all that you'll need to get started so i'm gonna go over the steps that i took to get these things and the order that i did them in so the first thing i did was i found a platform that i wanted to use as my um my ron platform my remote online notary platform so i decided to go with notarize i'm pretty sure if you start to do your research on like remote online notarizations and, and ron platforms notarize is going to be one of the ones that you see so i decided to go with notarize and the thing with notarize is they're very specific about the um digital certificate that they allow for you for any remote online notary to use on their platform so they go with a company called identrust so i went ahead and purchased my identrust um compliant verifiable x.509 digital certificate it's like a whole thing anyways that was 123 dollars and 90 cents so i got that um once i did that and you're going to need that in order to sign a statement of officer form when you actually apply on the state 
secretary website so i did that first the second thing i did was i went ahead and got my electronic seal and you do have to make sure that the electronic seal that you get is again it's compatible and it's accepted by the ron platform that you're using the thing with notarize is they actually give you the electronic seal Ooh, i'm out of breath because i'm trying to talk so fast but well, you can get the electronic seal for free um, when you sign up for the notarized platform as a, a remote online notary so that one was free and it's you know an electronic seal and it comes in an acceptable file format um, so things are very specific because again you're doing things remotely and virtually so they're very specific about how you're doing things because everything has to be compliant so I set up my my notarized um, account and everything I was able to go through the steps and then I was able to create my electronic seal, download my electronic seal. And again, you're going to need that for when you're actually um, doing the application for the Secretary of State. So the next thing I did after that was um, because in order for you to go through like the whole process of having your notarized account verified and everything like that, you have to be NNA certified in background screen. So I did that. And again, I purchased the um, most basic package because I don't, in my opinion, personally, I don't feel like you need the most, the other two, because there's three packages, right? Three levels that you can use. I went with the $70 one, basic one. Um, I did the background screening and then I did the, the NNA signing agent certification exam which is an open book, unlimited time, and it's really easy to, well, for me personally, it was pretty easy to pass. Once I did that, um, my notarized profile was allowing me to create the electronic seal. I did that and then I was able to download. So once I had my digital certificate from Identrust, and once I had my electronic seal from Notarize, I went onto the Secretary of State website for Texas and I did the online, um, notary application and that was um, a fee of $51.35 um, there's a statement of officer form that you're going to download and then you're going to apply your digital certificate and then you're going to sign it with your electronic seal so I did have a little bit of trouble with like doing the whole digital certificate thing go ahead and call Identrust because that's exactly what I did I called them up they were able to walk me through it and then I was like wow that was like super easy <laughs> Um, but I was having the most difficult time and I'm not the most tech savvy person, but I, I can like find my, find and maneuver my way through it. But this one, I just, I wasn't able to figure it out. So I just called them up and I was like, Hey, I'm having trouble with this. How do I do this? They helped me. It was super easy to do. So, and I feel like once they show you the first time you're, you're, you're good. You're going to know how to do it for the, the next times that you do. Um, need to add your digital certificate um, to things. So the cool thing about uh, doing it um, through the state of Texas is everything is emailed to you. So my um, my regular notary commission it was emailed to me, and I was you know I was able to download it and do all that. I didn't have to wait for a commission packet anything. So it's the same thing when you do your online notary application. They email it to you, and honestly, it it was super fast. It was in less than a day. I want to say a few hours later, I got an email from the Secretary of State of Texas and then I was able to download my online notary commission. I went ahead and got it notarized. For that one, you do have to show up in person because they have to administer your oath um, into office. So just find a local notary public around you. Um, you meet up with them, you know, they just like any notarization, give them their ID give them the document, and then they will swear you into office. Once I did all that, I was able to upload my online notary commission that was notarized. I uploaded that to the notarized platform on my profile, and then I was able to move on to the other steps. And there's a lot of steps that you have to take in order for your um, notarized profile to be completed. So follow each and every step, and if you have any questions, Make sure you're emailing them and you're getting the answers that you need so that you're not waiting a long time, you know, to get your profile up and running. So the good thing about um, going through the Notarized platform is you get all of the training that you need. You, you are going to be able to watch like 20 something videos on all the different steps 
that you need to take when you are doing a remote online uh, notary session um, you know how to use their tools how, basically just how to do your work as a ron they show you everything and you don't have to pay anything extra so that's really cool once i did all of that you're able to do a like simulation thing where it's, it's like practice and you know practice as much as you need to you don't need to do it just once i've done it like a handful of times before actually going on and like using the platform for real so um use the simulator do it as many times as you need to until you're comfortable with using the tools applying your electronic seal you know attaching jura to acknowledgement you know i want to go over like just real quick the equipment that you're going to need so you don't need anything fancy or anything like that um but the number one thing is your laptop or your computer so i have this one this is the surface um the microsoft surface what is this oh my gosh i forgot it's like the, the microsoft surface um go something like that i'll i'll have it linked um on my amazon storefront but it's i like it because it's super small super lightweight and you know if you want to work from anywhere you just need internet and this is it so uh, for this though in in particular with this laptop you do need to get like an attachment because it only has these ports here you don't have anything over here wanted to get like headsets because they're noise canceling headsets so i got one of these and it's like a little attachment thing you guys can see that okay and again i'll have this linked for you guys so you just attach it to your laptop and then you get to use these extra ports um whenever you need to so there's that and then i also have the headset so this is my this is my headset okay this is how it is just put it on and then you have your little mic here you know um and you can use this to you know mute yourself and unmute yourself for whatever reason and it's you know just dress up nicely you know show up on camera professionally and make sure that the area that you're in um doesn't have any like noises that are disruptive anything like that the one thing i love about this is that you want to schedule your time online through the notarized platform you can do it one hour ahead of time so everything is done in one hour intervals most of the time there's always a time slot available for you but if for some reason there's just a lot going on on the platform then it's not going to be um available but i haven't encountered anything like that so um yeah it's really cool as far as like the fees what do you get paid technically doing um remote online notarizations since um and this is like when you are a remote online notary working for like as an, a you're an independent agent for notarized you're not bringing in your own clients it's five dollars per stamp and then um to start off with and then you can move on to the second tier which i believe it's 25 dollars um per stamp that you get paid out but you guys you get paid out daily if you wanted to through stripe which it's your choice it's daily weekly or I want to say it's monthly as well but i decided to go daily and you get paid out directly to your bank account you connect it through stripe and i mean i think it's really cool a call is literally like five minutes maybe 10 minutes like it's very rare that it's 10 minutes but if it's five dollars a call and it's you know between five to ten minutes you can do you know you can do like six calls in an hour which would equal to $30 an hour and you don't need to print out paper you're not buying paper you're not buying ink or toner you're not wasting gas you're doing it out of the comfort of your own home and around your own schedule the other thing i love about this is that it's 24 hours a day seven days a week so if at any time you have a weekend where you're like i'm not doing anything or i don't want to go out and do anything you can just hop on one hour before log on and schedule your time if you want to do just one hour you can do one hour make 30 bucks or possibly more 
if you want to do two hours you can schedule your time however you want like especially if you're if you're a stay-at-home mom like i am you can do this around nap time you can do this at night you can do this on the weekends early mornings it's all up to you so um i just wanted to share that with you guys because i know um I asked you, you know, if you guys wanted me to make a video on this and a lot of you said yes. So I wanted to come on here and share that with you. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you guys have any questions, leave them below in the comments. I do read all of my comments. And again, my email is below if you guys uh, want to ask me anything. And yeah, that was it. I hope you guys uh, look into this and that it works out for you as well. So have a great one, everyone. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.